you know, the, the culture is so all encompassing. When we think of, you know, what is culture? Um, you know, in a traditional sense, you know, it's art and literature, music, poetry, architecture, all those kind of, I, I don't like the term high culture, but maybe that's yeah. high culture. And of course, in America today, culture is entertainment, film, television, uh, music, and, and so forth. But the left has gone well beyond that. You mentioned education um, and entertainment, but culture is also family and religion. And we see the left's assault really in, in um and almost on steroids when it comes to attacking the family and attacking religion, particularly um, Christianity, of course, but, you know, other religions as well. Any any kind of religious people are come under assault. Yeah. So the left, I mean, there really is a plan here. If, do you have anything to say or can you explain why would they why would they go after the family? Why would they go after religion? I mean, I, you know, they've taken over Hollywood. They've taken over so many of the arts. Um, and we'll get into some of those examples um, in a few minutes, but the family and religion, which is really the, the, the basis, the cornerstone of society, has come under special assault. And, and I think that falls under kind of the culture. I mean, because that really is the backbone of our culture. Oh, yeah, absolutely. In fact, th this whole cultural assault, this cultural Marxist, rather, assault on, on our civilization which sounds like a very grandiose thing to say, but that's really what it is. And that that's what's at stake is our civilization. Uh, this cultural Marxist assault on our civilization has really targeted three essential pillars of a thriving civilization. And you hit on two of them right away, faith and family. And I would add nation to that also. Mm -hmm. So faith, family, nation, love of God, uh, love of family, and love of homeland. Um, our our Judeo-Christian values that are wedded to classical Greco-Roman reason, in other words, that the marriage of Jerusalem and Athens, as it's called, that those values emphasize the worth and dignity of the individual. And it's produced more liberty and equality and prosperity for all than than all the collectivist societies in history put together. Yeah. And that foundation, faith, family, and nation. Uh, which created the greatest civilization in history, that is being destroyed to pave the way for this neo-Marxist agenda to construct a collectivist utopia uh, based on the social justice redistribution of wealth. Uh, if I could quickly just go through faith families, yes. each one of those three, uh, to explain how the left is targeting and has been targeting those. Uh, let me start with faith, because I think that's probably the most important. You know, the, the Russian dissident Alexander Solzhenitsyn once said that all of the terrible things that had befallen his country since the 1917 communist revolution were because men had forgotten God. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that it's valid to say that the West today has not only forgotten God, but that we've tried to take God's place. We're, we're in a secular age now of declining traditional faiths. I mean, Generation Z, which is the, I think the youngest generation, is the least religious generation in U.S history. And when faith declines in a culture, in a civilization, then political religions and a religion of the self fill that void. Um, and that's what's happening. You can see that's what's happening in our culture today. Now, Marxism, of course, is atheistic. Marxism makes a god of mankind and aims to uh, make a heaven on earth in the form of a collectivist utopia. And to do that, the, the faith in a transcendent authority from whom all of our morality comes, that has to be eradicated. So, mm. so, so secular Marxism has gradually and fundamentally transformed America from a nation founded on Judeo-Christian values into one in which this diminishing number of devout Christians and Jews are, are being demonized and marginalized, mm. as you alluded to earlier, yeah. by our cultural elites. Um, the word religion itself comes from the word, the Latin word, to bind together. So mm -hmm. faith in God really mm -hmm. is a force that binds a community, it binds a nation, it binds a civilization together. Um, in, in fact, it binds the human and the divine as well. And when we would dissolve that bond, uh, when we believe that we and not God are the ones that we have been waiting for, to paraphrase Barack Obama, <laughs> then, then society disintegrates into meaninglessness and chaos and a kind of an empty hedonism uh, masquerading as personal freedom. And you can see that all throughout the culture. 